Live from the southwest corner of Austin, where it's like a real reality show and I feel lighter, it's going to be a great night. Now, line up your hot Bible characters from Zeus to Bruce and prepare to burn your bush. Sorry, sorry, Melissa and Sandy. <clears throat> because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to America's most popular game show. Can you use it as a genital? Genital. It's the only show where Justin Robert Young closes his eyes, spins around in a circle, points at something, opens his eyes, sees what he's pointing at, and tries to use it as a sentence in a sentence referring to genitals. Featuring your guest, Justin Robert Young. Yeah, I'm spinning. Okay, all right, all right, all right, and uh, and stop whenever you feel like it. I, I can pick that too. Yeah, stop, stop. All right, what are you pointing at? And use it in a sentence to, uh, as a metaphor for genitals and go. Wait till you see my lights. <laughs> All right, that's one for one. <laughs> the biggest score in the history of the... We're going to quit there. 7.5. Hey. hey, hey, hey. Holy moly, man. How you doing, dude? Uh, lots two going weeks, on. Two weeks until Founders Day. Uh, less less than, than... I mean, today yeah, is... So uh, we, have, we have one more episode and then Founders Day. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. And and by then, I think some founders will be in town and watching. It's like, it's like a week. Yeah, I guess... No, no, so They're going to be peeping. Get, Next, next week we're gonna have we're gonna have a bit of a bit of an audience. Can, 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 uh, can we stop calling them an audience and start calling them creepy peepers? You guys <laughs> like that? You guys like that name? Can y'all be our creepy peepers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, trying to goose that, that reaction. No, it didn't feel very that's... sincere. Okay, what don't about? Don't try to make creepy peepers happen. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. What about I peepy peepers? Sure. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm all right. sure about that. We can workshop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you think about uh uh uh, uh... salacious crumbs? <laughs> 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 you guys want to be called it's salacious? salacious we're gonna go to them every time. Every time we're going to them, <laughs> even worse, we're gonna flash the applause sign every, every time. time. <laughs> you guys want to be called? I like that we've now set up cannon in the listener's head that we have an applause sign. <laughs> you guys want to be called warm encrusted <laughs> people? <laughs> 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 Worm encrusted people. <laughs> yes, that's, that's encrusted, <laughs> not infested, <laughs> not infested. That's <laughs> just people with worms in them. Right. Worms encrusted. They There's made, so many worms. They made the mistake of sunbathing crust. one time, and they became encrusted <laughs> with worms. The worm, worms were always worm, there. Worm entrusted people. Oh, they, would they, you guys you, rather be called worm entrusted? Tepid, tepid, <laughs> tepid, tepid, tepid. Yeah, no, they're tepid. not here. All right. What about Diamond Club? You guys like that one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Worm encrusted people it is. <laughs> Price first stopping! Smith punches rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, it took me a moment. Uh, <laughs> apparently the Oscars had... Uh, um, uh, they, you did see th 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 these Oscars? Wait, wait, it's me, Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I thought it was Mike Tyson who was about to punch yeah, someone. Same, same thing. I guess Jay Leno didn't have to listen. <laughs> <laughs> really, a specifically Tyson bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh man, that's. Oh, Mike. Mike Tyson. I hosted the Tonight Show, <laughs> and I'm Jay Leno. I punch. I bit off an ear once. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, man, this is one of those things like, we, uh, uh, let's rank. Yeah. Uh, we, we ain't here to judge. We're here to rank. Yeah. Which it's, is a form of judging. It's the ultimate <laughs> the amount of judging. It's the ultimate From the judgment. least best the to the best. It's the judgment. most confident position well, how, how, how of judging. Did you, how, how, did, how, did, how did all this, because it was a huge cataclysmic thing, how, how did it find you and when did it find like, you? Like a lot of people, I made the mistake of opening up Twitter and 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 for like a half second, I was like, "Oh, there's a pile on. Let me make a joke about the streamies from 2010." And then I was like, I, "I very rarely delete a tweet. I try to live my entire life in Sharpie." But I was just so bummed about like 
I was just like, another one of these things. And I deleted my tweet. And I was like, eh. Because you made a joke about the stream. No, be, because I didn't want to be a part of any of it. Like, like, like I didn't want to. So I didn't want to win with a one-liner. Saw, I didn't want to be clip. a laughing. You saw the clip. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You see, you see the Japanese one. Uh, uh, oh, the one where they only <laughs> translate what of what of they, well, they how did they, how did it go? They translate what Chris Rock is saying. So yeah, it's like he comes up and slaps him, and then he's like, like it was a GI Jane joke, and and the Japanese interpreter's like. <laughs> Uh, how about a bit of G.I. Jane? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. Uh oh All right, here we go. So this is the clip. Will Smith is coming up. Oh, wow. wow. Will Smith he just can't, smacked the shit out of him. He can't. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that, oh, you got <laughs> memed. That's that's the one. That's the that's only the real one. That's, that's the, the quickest one. clip I can find. The I thought that was the Japanese the one, one too. That's also when I think you should. I think you should leave. I'm sketch. okay with this. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. He's allowed to hit you. Uh, He's not. He is. The, the uh, I, I did watch one of the you know meta analysis or whatever. Uh, there definitely is a moment that uh, and this is the moment that fascinates me the most. Is very clearly Chris Rock is doing a lot of calculus all at once. He definitely says the words, I could. Yes. And it's like, like that, my God, what a universe happened right there in that one moment. That a is, microcosm. That is a, splitting, a splitting of universes. <laughs> like because in in that moment, the there was a big bang said, of alternate reality. Yes. <laughs> they say that everything that could happen has happened in an alternate universe. The thing that he says where he doesn't hold back is the thing we know it by. Yes. Like the, the slap is the inciting incident. The joke he makes afterward is most likely the thing that everybody remembers forever. And Will Smith is never because like now Will Smith's in a position where he can apologize. And if people forgive him, then that is the process. If Chris Rock hung something really fucked up in the way that a comedian who trains in front of hostile audiences constantly is like, like like a a a animal like like designed to do. I mean, as if he that, that I don't would be know the did, only thing people would remember did thousand tens of thousands of performances at the comedy cellar and has dealt with every type of heckler you would yeah. ever have to deal with. Somebody who has a mind sharp as a tack and a billion one liners, and who if you if you read the script gets teed up fairly generously by his heckler in that moment. Yeah, like keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. At which point you could make. A lot Who of knows? comments about what kind of wives joke? and mouths. Yeah. Like, like it, that, that's right there. That is a grapefruit dead center over the plate. Now, here's here's what I want to ask you because I think this is this is where your expertise comes in. A lot of conspiracy. That was a you know publicity uh, ratings for the Oscars have been down. Made this was obviously because not only what did the slap happen, right? But then right afterward, time spent watching, he's up for his first Oscar ever. He wins it, right? So now he gets to give a totally unrestricted uh, uh, a speech. Ratings up fifty one percent. Or as Max Power the puts one. it, the second lowest rated Oscars. Uh, That's correct. Oh, yeah. It sucked. <laughs> it, it, the ratings were still terrible because, by the way, they nominated a bunch of movies that nobody's never seen. But what do you think? Huh? Uh, 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 they, uh? Say, they say that when you hear hoofbeats over the horizon, think horses, not uh, unicorns, unicorns, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, from what I hear, uh, Venus and Serena, not so thrilled that, that, that their moment was taken from them. Everyone on the planet, not so thrilled. There's only one person I can think of that would probably be very thrilled at this moment. Uh, he's probably the person for whom I was looking at all of his live dates because he's on tour uh, <laughs> uh, through this year. And I was like, I don't know. Is it worth it to fly to Vegas just to go see Chris Rock like for one night in I July? Mean, uh, th that's not the question you need to be asking. You need to be asking the question, is it worth a second mortgage to be able to attend this show in Las Vegas Shit's to see still, Chris, Rock, Ro still Chris Rock live? Affordable. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that that will that will not be affordable when you when when he does the first uh, uh, show and the reports are oh he says a thing during his first live show then all the rest of those shows are going to sell out. Uh, question: Is this quite possibly? And I'll ask you, Brett, because I've already floated it. Um, the uh, uh, is this quite possibly the single 
biggest, most memorable moment in the entire history of the Oscars? And if not, what else would you put up against it in our, not judging, ranking? Uh, I would, uh, for me, it's Little Feather and... Uh, Accepting Mar- on behalf of Marlon Brando? Yeah, and well, uh, yeah. Uh, what movie was that for? The Godfather, I believe. Was it, it was the Godfather? Yeah, and and uh, uh, allegedly, um, it took six <laughs> guards to restrain John Wayne from beating her up. He wanted to beat her up. Well, she was there. Marlon Brando was not. Was not. Yeah. Like, well, I'm going to punch her <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> well, yeah, yes. Pilgrim. Pilgrim. She's not a pilgrim. I'm not a pilgrim. pilgrim. (laughs) I'm literally the opposite of a pilgrim. the opposite of a pilgrim. And we're still allowed to say that (laughs) in this time period. I'm doing (laughs) era-specific improv. The (laughs) rules are different now. (laughs) I'm a... Never mind. Uh, There's only only trouble. You looked into the portal and you didn't like what you saw. Man, I could. I could. could. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, What else is there? There's... uh, 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 I don't know. The Benini. Dude stood, uh, yep. Hey, Benini. Don't you yeah. be a meanie. Uh, 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 you like me. You really like me. Yeah. Sally Field. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what but the Benini thing. Well, how is that even weird? Just he's just, stood he on a so chair. Over he's the just top. foreign. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like it wasn't even like it was odd. Put was that just, put that on the on the movie poster. He was foreign. <laughs> he's just foreign. He's just foreign. <laughs> I don't get it. And no, a picture only... of Justin going like, eh. <laughs> I mean, the movie was about the Holocaust. <laughs> So like like so so that was odd that he was that excited. Yes. Because you shouldn't there's only so excited you should get anywhere near the Holocaust. I'm sorry, is Mr. 911 looking away right now? <laughs> <laughs> that was the fucking what? Life is beautiful. You, was that it? Was that the movie Life is Beautiful? The the, the Benini movie? Yes. 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 Uh, I was like fucking hallucinating? Was it not about the Holocaust? No, it was it was about the Holocaust. It was just Brian's <laughs> reaction. Brian, yeah. Three, four. I just want to be five seconds away from the word Holocaust okay, when I speak. Okay. <laughs> and, and I did Is it a- weird that all these movies about Nazis get nominated like all the time? Because that happens fucking constantly. Yeah, no, I'm okay with Nazis. <laughs> just not Holocaust. You're okay yeah. with Nazis. No, I mean, sp- <laughs> Star Wars is gentlemen, space Nazis. I mean, I'm okay. okay with Nazis. Oh, God damn it. Um, uh, <laughs> what about that? Uh, sponsored by Bright Bar- Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh what about uh, uh uh james cameron's king of the world moment that uh which actually in context isn't that bad because he's channeling the, 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 the line phrase from the movie that he won yeah. the oscar for. but if you didn't know that uh it <laughs> looks like somebody it was more <laughs> fucked up when he won a few years later and screamed i see you jake sully <laughs> Even weirder. Nobody when saw he, the previously <laughs> highest grossing movie. Uh, no, even, I, no, we saw it. We time. saw it. Even weirder <laughs> was when he got a technical uh, credit and he said, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> yeah. We were all weirded out by that. And there, or weirdly when uh, uh, <laughs> the soundtrack for Aliens got an award yeah. and he said, get away from her, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> the weirdest was when he won for best documentary and said, look at these fish. <laughs> That, or big, or when, that got a bigger laugh than I see you, Jake Sully. Avatar, the number one fucking movie in box office history, and the fucking submarine fan films that he made for eleven people. That gets a bigger laugh. You didn't do it, the Avatar joke in a funny voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't see you, Bryce Sully. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> All right, what, what, what other stories we got, Bryce? <laughs> Tell her your friends about this show. Oh, damn. We're going in the weeds on this one. A little bit. A little bit. We're, 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 we're spinning tall tales. Deep dish gossip. The new talk show. Chicago style. Chicago you have, style you have to wait, gossip. You have to wait 45 <laughs> minutes after you order to get it. The only 100% pro-union gossip show. Yep. <laughs> and also pro-voter fraud. <laughs> and also <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Anyway, remember the Blues Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Uh, Teller tweeted out a nice thing about the show that we made. An extraordinarily nice thing. Uh, of, uh, so go to at Mr. Teller if you want to see it. He doesn't tweet often. So when he does, it is 
uh, not only meaningful, but also uh, it was very, very touching because the things he said were, were really over the top. Uh, there is a little backstory to this, though. Yeah, this is this is the inside baseball. Um, uh, T- Teller had it, it didn't come out of nowhere. Like Teller wrote uh, me and yes. spoke to us directly about uh, his, uh, you know, very sincere praise for for the show. And um, at one point, he said, um, because because during the first season, as we were making the the episodes, right. You were sending him draft episodes on Dropbox via text, right? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I actually, I just sent him a link to all of season two. I don't know that he's heard any of season two, but he was he not completely blown yeah. away by season one. But season one he loved, and yeah. he was was very, very helpful and, and pointed us in a lot of really cool directions. But, like, uh, like such a fan that he, he, he said these words, um, just write whatever tweet you want me to tweet. And me not knowing what to say, I was like, uh, so this, this is a this very is good... when we're in Vegas. Yes, this most recent time. That's right. He, uh, he he was he was over the moon about season one. Still, he was very excited to listen to season two, and he and he says to you this this offer. It, well, and and at this point, I file it away. I'm like, okay, when the timing's right, I'll I'll ask for it. When I did ask for it, what I all I wrote was, I don't know. Can you say this is a good podcast? You should listen to it. And he was just like, the fuck are these words, boy? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> and he's just like, uh, and what he wrote is poetic and, and so much better, which is why he's teller. He, he wrote, uh, my ingenious friend Schwood's podcast is called World's Greatest Con. It's a funny, fiery, charming, and sometimes horrifying take on history, trickery, and personal stories. Second season starts, ends tonight. But if you haven't heard the first, start here, which is um, a little bit better than what I suggested. Probably. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It, it, was, it, was, it was that. But there was a, There was one moment, though. It was a great moment. So we are uh, backstage after the Penn and Teller show, um, and uh, uh, Brian brings up World's Greatest Con, and Teller is effusive in his praise, which is intensely gratifying. Which, which, by the way, I wouldn't think it would be much different from reading it in an email. He had already said nice things via email, but, but this was the first time we were seeing him in person, and he was saying nice things to, to our face. It's the difference between... Yoda saying he likes something in an email <laughs> <laughs> and saying to you that he thinks that you are good and talented. Yes. Uh, well, how could that get any better? Uh, well, he <laughs> says, uh, 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 oh, I haven't listened to season two. And it, it, it's very clear that he liked it better when the way that he was listening was Brian sends him Correct. a text message that he's paying attention so, to. Somebody as important and as busy as Teller. Yes. He's uh, extraordinarily should, should not busy. be handed home homework. Yes. Uh, and uh, he's like, like, I don't know how to listen to it. And I'm like, do you want me to download it to your phone? This, and- is, this is the moment that, that Yoda says, yeah, and just hands his lightsaber <laughs> over to you. And just hands me his phone. He's just like, 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 yes, I would. <laughs> Boom. And so I downloaded the season two onto Teller's phone. How surreal was that? It was a, just, it was from, from the Bruce the to greatest, Zeus. One of the greatest. <laughs> Bruce to Zeus. Uh, a full Zeus. Okay. A full Zeus. A double Zeus. Like, that's uh, a rock hard Zeus. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, it, was, uh, uh, it was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, uh, it's great to know that I know for a fact because I downloaded the app that we are the only podcast on his phone. That's uh, awesome. And uh, uh, no. and that might have been the a real... really good night. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Uh, we do have one more thing to say. Uh, 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 on the Mata Road channel, today we premiered. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, it has taken us uh, what, what on paper sounds like it should be, I don't know, uh, go to Pond 5, grab some clips, bada bing bang, how hard can it be to there make was, a YouTube video at, essay? At, at, at the beginning of this, you were like, hey, I got a thing. Probably going to take, I don't know, 72, 75 hours, 75 hours. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I got my best man on it. Uh, uh, and then week goes by, week goes by, week goes by. The product that is is being shown to us is amazing. It, yeah. it, it only gets better. Uh, but uh, it finally launched today. This is another thing that we've kind of kept under our hat. Uh, yeah, it is the complete uh, episode two, season two, Michael Larson defeating uh, Press Your Luck. Only uh, instead of uh, previously what we did is we did like a, we wanted to represent some kind of visual elements. We did a real to real thing. But ultimately, this is a podcast on a YouTube platform. And in general, YouTube doesn't 
cotton to that. Uh, they they like rich visuals and a lot yeah, of there's, effort. There's, there, there's two ways to do it. It's either YouTube is just a repository for podcasts, so people who want to deep dive have that available to them, and that gets X amount of traction, but is not built to play the algorithm game, right. which is what Modern Rogue does. And so, like, the, the stuff that we were putting out on the reel to reel, if it was short, like when we put out the teaser, did, did very, very well. well. Did very well. When it's longer, especially on the main channel, it, it you know, uh, people are like, oh, a podcast? I don't know. I don't like podcasts, right. or I'll listen to it on Spotify. But there is a rich history on YouTube of long form video essays. Uh, but Defunct the long land, form, uh, John uh, Boys, like, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's a ton of great ones, icons, a lot of them. And you know that you have to play at that level of quality if you want people to give a fuck about it. And so the, the, the team at Modern Rogue uh, did the damn thing, man. They, they really put the time and effort into making this not a pod. What you are going to see on YouTube is not a podcast. It is a video essay, a video essay uh, the likes of which I think uh, play very, very similarly uh, with everything yeah. else on YouTube. Shouts out to all of the editors uh, and the interns and, and, and the folks who did the research. I'll, I'll not yeah. attempt John, to get Brent, all the names. Heather, uh, 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 Jeff, and Jeff. Uh, there and, we go. Those, and, those, and, those, and more I'm missing, I'm, more, I'm certain. Yeah. But uh, 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 the, the team crushed it. And uh, unfortunately, enough people on the channel think of World's Greatest Con as, oh, that's that podcast thing. And, and it's like, uh, there, enough people are not choosing to click on it that I'm like, no, guys, just please give it. So uh, at any rate, uh, uh, even if you've already heard it, just turn on a computer and let it play <laughs> so that we can train the algorithm that it's good. <laughs> yeah, uh, you yeah. did not just say that. You did not break AdWords terms of service. Nope. That's not what anybody is suggesting. No, that, was a, that was a, that was uh, no. Do it in a voice. Do it in a voice. No, I, I won't because I never did. Whoa, I'm Count Dracula. <laughs> Get on your computer and play the whole video over and over again. I want to suck your blood. This is parody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> dog Battle Station. Oh boy, do the kids want a dog? They uh You have a dog. You yeah, have two you dogs. You have two dogs. Yeah, we do. We we do. Um uh we got a And a, what? Uh well What and, are you hiding? I uh, What is this family hiding with their lust for dogs? <laughs> Wrong words. With their, <laughs> what, is, what is this family hiding with their want for dogs? No, still no? Uh, what is this family hiding? They want a dog. <laughs> Winner. Oh, I want a dog. Oh, I want yeah. a dog. All right, enough. Um, I'm, I'm Pipe say. down, Jake Sully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing because of the Jake Sully. I'm laughing. <laughs> I was just thinking of because I was, else I was, was remembering funny. the fucking submarine. Movie. I was thinking of a joke from a different school. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, so basically, uh, Josie gets it in her head where it's like, oh, what about this kind of dog? What about that kind of dog? And so she goes absolutely bonkers, starts searching. Finds a dog, uh, uh, starts going to work selling us on the idea of um, a, a, a of an Australian Shepherd and uh, all the reasons why it's great. And then she finds an Australian Shepherd puppy and she sends pictures and it's a cute puppy, right? And then we um, uh, and at some point it, it whips up into such a frenzy. Yeah. That suddenly we're we're going to go look at a puppy. Now you you we all know that you don't just look at puppies. If you yeah. get in, the whole family gets in the goddamn car, starts going somewhere. You're not just going to look at a puppy. You're going to come back with a puppy. So it's about halfway out there. We're confused by the directions or whatever. And we figure out that the address that we've been given is um, not a house. It is a gas station. Okay. At which point, the host of World's Greatest Con in Scam School asks out loud, Wait a minute. What are, what are we doing? Did, did anybody vet any of this? And it was incredible. The whole family goes into battle station mode. Like Josie opens up articles on how to tell if a breeder is reputable and starts listing off the stuff. Penny starts investigating the website and figures out that the testimonials, some of them are copy pasted, including misspellings on different dogs. And, it, uh, and so by the time we arrive at the gas station, like we are fully prepared and 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 uh, uh i just imagine the entire family piles out of the the the, the suv and all of your eyes yeah both both uh, <laughs> and bald bald fists on your hips eyes squinted like 
mm, walking single file down to the gas station. Yes. Uh, well, and the important part is, oh boy, have you ever tried to talk kids out of being excited about getting a puppy that they're already excited about? Mm -hmm. Or to put them on edge about how this might not be a fit, this et cetera, et cetera? Happen. Yeah. We show up. Yep. Um, this dog, like all the red flags. Every single red flag. Every breeder I've ever dealt with has has been like in in interviewing me like I'm a murder suspect already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this dog is I won't say appeared to be a little bit neglected. Uh, gotcha. Just 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 drooling and shivering. Yeah. And there's there's uh, there's. You, an, I, I think I can handle this. Okay. I'm Count Dracula. <laughs> they beat the shit out of that dog. Ah, 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 ah. The blood of virgins is the parody that I'm doing. Ah, ah, ah. You're good. Great. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, uh, the, 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 I was like, well, tell me about this dog. And the, and, and the first response is, well, she is just scared as can be. All this traffic going. That's why she looks like this. Just like... Yeah. And then uh, yeah, poop everywhere. And, and, and I'm like, well, uh, we have seven acres, no fence, and about this much traffic. So that's trouble. And she's and instantly she says, oh, she'll be great. She'll love it. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, and I was like, okay, well, what's her temperament like? She's like, well, she's never been on a leash. She doesn't know what a leash is. Uh, so uh, maybe just you know have her alone and love on her a lot. I'm like, yeah, we've got another dog, a Weimaraner, that's all elbows and energy. Uh, and and she says. She's going to get along great. <laughs> and I'm like, just all the alarm bells. And so we're like, well, I think we're going to go. We're going to go, right? Josie, who put all the effort into all of this, yeah. was understandably upset, upset, handled it like a champ. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, uh, look, the good news is you've apparently sold both your parents on an Australian shepherd. Yeah. And if someday, who knows, if we find a reputable, oh, go oh, in their local, mm, that, who knows what the future holds? 30 minutes later, the phone rings. <laughs> it's Josie saying, they're 40 minutes away. They've got an award-winning sire and dam. They're, they're this, they're that. Uh, and then they send me this, this picture. I, I, I said it in the text. I know I should send it to email, but I don't know if we can put it up there. But uh, I think in 48 hours... Uh, we're gonna get an Australian Shepherd, but but e oh my God! Oh, oh, God. oh. <laughs> so in a last desperate. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> now I know why they want to fuck this dog. Ah, 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 ah. Parody, parody, Dracula. So not uh, real. The very last resistance I have as a dad is, oh, I don't know, maybe an Australian Shepherd won't even get along with a Weimar honor. Google for Weimar on our companion dogs. The top best top friends <laughs> of all time. The very best dog. Here's the top 10 very best dogs very to get along with the Weimar on her. Yeah. Number one, Australian Shepherd. I'm like, fuck. And so anyway, yeah, we're probably getting a dog. Uh, what do you think about the name? I mean, because because we all know. I was thinking Dracula. What is, <laughs> Harry what is, Dracula. What, I mean, like, Parody what, Dracula. What is a... Uh, 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 your your Weimar honor joyful Joy. name jo uh, joyful federal agent Bryce Doug Neshkom Castillo Brushwood. <laughs> so in the grand tradition of this show, poisoning your family and pets with bullshit middle names. Yep. Uh, I believe I believe the AKC has registered as joyful federal agent. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna think it's Joyful a canine dog. <laughs> Wait, that's the last name? <laughs> yeah, just that. Well, I mean, the dogs don't have last names gotcha. that are human names. Yeah. They, but they have. They have. But I believe she's just Joyful Federal, federal Agent. Agent. <laughs> Joyful Federal Agent. <laughs> which, which, by the way, I love that idea. <laughs> He's like, ha ha! You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask the questions. <laughs> Show me some ID. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have papers for that? <laughs> no, but for real. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm watching. I got a gag for this one. Uh, I'm wearing a mustache now. <laughs> Boom! boom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I was shot by this joyful federal agent. <laughs> I love life. <laughs> I'm standing on a chair, accepting Oscars. <laughs> Look at these fish! Wow! Were you just in a movie about a certain topic? <laughs> no, but I watch Great Night. <laughs> Bryce, next topic. Uh -huh.
Oh no, I closed my phone. Ah! Oh, damn it, Brian. Ah. It's because I had to do the email. Here we go. Brian's found gun. Uh, this one I'll keep short. But quick uh, 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 a bookend on an old story. Yep. Previously uh, on Great Night. Uh, yeah, we spent like 20 minutes talking about how I got too many guns and I lost a gun. And then we think the gun we never had. But I, but I could have could have sworn there was a gun. Yeah, missing gun. Look for the gun. Convince yourself the gun never existed. Right. New case closed. Oh, let's let's. The case closed. Ha ha! I love life. Oh my God! <laughs> Tell you a federal agent. Yeah, man. Let's keep investigating. Uh, okay, but we <laughs> solved the case. Oh, did you? Because my parents came over and there was some piece of paperwork that, and this is literally minutes before we were supposed to I like to imagine my parents came over and my mom sat on the couch and said, wow, this pillow is a little lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out an AK-47. <laughs> Bang! So my my mom has a very clear memory of handing air quotes me this document 14 months ago. So she is convinced it's there. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm like, well, let me go into the safe. Uh, and and I pull back like just uh, all the papers. And I'm like, here's all the papers. And she's like, well, these are none of these are the thing. And I'm like, okay, well, there are papers down like at the bottom from forever ago. I guess be right back. Go and I get all of paper like scooping them off the bottom and I'm like and then as I'm scooping them off the bottom I found the gun oh <laughs> wait, uh, wait 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 where where were these papers again uh that were in the gun safe uh in, uh, the, in the gun safe yeah next to the, I mean, it's a very large gun safe yeah. so it was under some paper you just didn't look <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no 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 because this is the thing it's it's a 22 rifle so it's a, it's a very large uh, uh gun you would think that it would be very hard to lose that yeah uh turns out it was tucked in the corner behind like when you open it it was in the recess so it was just all the way back here leaning back in uh and it was only as i scooped everything i'm like what the fuck is this and then and it and, all, and it, i look all the way up and i'm like so it, was, it was in the gun safe the, the whole time. time yeah the whole time, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> now that's how you close the case you're right joyful federal agent <laughs> 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 Sorry, this is my this is the new character we introduced at the end of the movie. Uh, the pessimist, part. pessimist federal secretary. Uh, uh, get in here, you boys. Uh, we're going to this is a new character. <laughs> uh, this is the chief who's going to pair us up for the so sequel. A new character. Yeah, no, okay. the chief has to. So you're Sorry, not uh, still uh, doing uh, Price, did, federal uh, agent. No, I'm still. Uh, hey, you two, yeah. get out there and find a federal case to adjudicate. <laughs> you got it. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right, Blues yeah. Brothers. Yeah, we're getting. <laughs> Good thing you explained it. <laughs> Blues Brothers 2000. <laughs> I that Bryce, movie. do we have another story? No, I think that's it, oh, right? That's it. Uh, no! no! I'm so happy about that. We solved all the cases. Uh, Brian, you were going to tell a story about Patreon. Uh, yeah, dude. A lot of people have a lot of questions about what goes on behind the Patreon wall. Yep. Uh, they sing songs about it. They do. They start. Like, there's a uh, there's a place in there, France what, yeah, the where place in France, the great night the great always night will dance. dance. There's, uh, there's a, there's a joke joke around, around here somewhere. Here somewhere. Watch and out for that bear. Watch out for <laughs> that bear. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, it's a real thing. The Thursday yeah. episodes are really good, and you should listen to up to five of them per, per month, month if you become a patron over at patreon.com slash great night. But you were very excited because we, we actually, like, we try to make them funny here, folks, but sometimes we <laughs> like to be a little serious. Hey, guys, it's me, Justin Robert Young. We like to be a little serious here sometimes. And we had a Not me. I love solving crimes and being happy. <laughs> I'm never serious, except for when I'm shooting. Pew, 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 pew. And this seems like the one time you should again. be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, so uh, uh, we had we had a, we had a fairly serious conversation about uh, 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 I don't know gender and sexuality and, and uh, a bunch uh, of stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and 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 it just happened to uh, uh, 
line up with a lot of stuff. And now I don't want to say it because I don't want to. You don't need to say that other thing. You don't yeah. need to say because everything. They don't you have to be tied at the... like, uh, it, it turns out there were a lot no, of you... themes that were also visited in the Television. thing I don't want to say. The thing that. The, the thing, the, yeah. It, cause it doesn't even come up during the bonus episode, but television That's has got because because we were having that discussion, and I was the only one who had seen the show. Well, you but don't, don't want to say nope because I want people to experience the show for the show. And it, yeah, it's a fine. It yeah, anyway. uh, it's called Public Domain Musical. Is the name of that bonus episode? And it was it was really good. It was we we, we oh yeah, that was a really great idea. We covered <laughs> a lot of uh, a brand. public domain musical, so you close with Happy Birthday. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday the, to you. Bring the fucking house down, dude. <laughs> yeah. Patreon.com. Give me a racism. Uh, 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 hey, Patreon.com uh, slash great night. That's the one. <laughs> the show's our flag means death. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Look, it's the gay pirate show. Everybody knows it as the gay pirate show. That's why people yeah. are talking about it. I didn't know there were specific themes that you were mentioning in the finale. Nope. Okay, now you, okay. I did the brushwood. I yelled the thing. Uh, Bryce, you got a game for us! Oh, we do have a game today. Oh, uh, I'm bringing back uh, one of our favorites, and I'm just realizing I don't have the sound but drop for it right now, but uh, it's Apologizes <laughs> For! Oh, God. It's, it's just, uh, 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 We're uh, playing uh, Apologizes For! Hey! Uh, uh, yeah. uh, this is the... This is the game where uh, 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 many of the chat realmers today went and found some news articles about people apologizing for things. We've taken the headlines and we're going to blank out some of the words. You're both going to guess what those blanks are. And whoever's, clo whoever's closest, as per science, uh, will get the points. Uh, Brett, can you do me a favor? Can you keep score? And would you mind reading out our headlines? I've got them here for the, will, on the smart. I will do all of those things for you. Perfect. Uh, you guys remember how to play this game, right? Oh, yeah. It's easy. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, Brett, uh, uh, why don't you take it from the top here, this first, uh, this, this top one right here. All right. <clears throat> Representative Van Taylor apologizes for an affair with blank blank. Abruptly drops re-election bid. Charleston official. No, no, no. One at a time. There's uh, one line. Uh, this is one. There you go. Just, just the one. Yep, just the one. All right. Yep. So there. And Taylor apologizes for affair with blank blank. Abruptly drops re-election bid. Uh, man, I'm gonna guess that the host of politics, politics, politics probably has a fair idea. I, 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 I know the genre. I don't know if I know the specific. Well, Brush, Brian's gonna go first. Yeah. So one. you go first. Uh, I want to say it was. Um, yeah, well, it's two words, which is messing me up because you can't break in turn into two words. Uh, 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 election coordinator. All right. Uh, uh, no, that would be weird. Well, I mean, it's already weird. Well, the news uh, is never weird. Yeah, the, the <laughs> news is just news. Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'll say uh, 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 something. Uh, staff intern. That's what I'll say. A staff intern. All right. Sounds scandalous. Yeah. But is is as It's kind of scandalous. But is as but as take two. <laughs> Sounds scandalous. But is it as scandalous as an ISIS commander? What? <laughs> For reals? Oh, that's right. We're doing a game here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. No, it's really what it was. Repre Representative Van Taylor apologizes affair with ISIS bra. Jesus. <laughs> that's a point. Wow. That he got it exactly right. Wow. <laughs> ISIS bride. Bride. Yep. ISIS bride. Truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> that's what James Cameron said when he saw a fish once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That fish. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, we'll go to round two here. Uh, okay, uh, 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 I would like to use one of my um, explain a friends. Um, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, just, 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 just the first two graphs. Uh, by by the bylaws of the game, he is he is due the first two graphs of the story. 
Uh, okay, sure. Uh, Representative Van Taylor apologized Wednesday for having an affair with an ex-jihadist dubbed the ISIS bride by Brit British tabloids and abruptly dropping his bid for a third term, conceding the GOP runoff to rival Keith Self, a former Collin County judge. Quote, about a year ago, I made a horrible mistake that caused deep hurt and pain among those I love most in the world. I had an affair. It was wrong, and it was the greatest failure of my life. He said <laughs> in the email. It was the greatest yeah. failure, failure of, exactly. of my life. I don't know. He's oh. from Plano, so that's bad enough. Yeah, that dude was from Plano. <laughs> yes, a Plano. Oh, yeah. Tanya, Joy, Tanya Hoya. Yeah, there's nothing plain you about know, that. You know, I wish I had ISIS bride. <laughs> 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 Where do I find ISIS pussy like that? <laughs> all right. Uh, that's a point for Justin. I'm willing to retire and give it up like that. I wish I had. No. <laughs> Why can't I quit you, Justin? <laughs> you just always tip to be like a sexy palpatine. <laughs> Yes, yes. We're going to lose all those points we got to do in the <laughs> bonus episode. Who wants to do shots? All right, that's a point for Justin and Hell. I'm going to give him a bonus point for I getting ISIS again. Early right. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't. Yes, you should. Okay, so It's a buttery nipple. <laughs> <laughs> but enough about me. Yes. <laughs> all right. Sexy buttery <laughs> Justin, we're going to start with you. Hell yeah, you are. Uh, round two for you. Let's for go. You. Round two. Charleston official apologizes for remarks about people from blank. Oh, Justin. Jesus. This old canard. Start with uh, Justin on this one. Apologizes for remarks about people from how many words? One word. One word. Canada. Justin's going to say apologizes about remarks for people from Canada. Great from... white north. Why is it so white? <laughs> More than Charleston? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go by location and just guess that Turkey is physically geolocated closer. People from Turkey. Turkey people. People from Turkey. How is goblin? Is that wow. so? Is that When the... they get sick, they're like a green. <laughs> a green? No, by the way, the, 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 the worm encrusted people are yeah. all shaking their heads <laughs> differently side to side. They're, I, okay, they're, 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 all, they're all trying to warn you away from this. They have an anti bird Every bias. single worm encrusted person. <laughs> is, uh, is even, the worms, even the worms are shaking. Even the worms. <laughs> all right. Uh, Brian has said Turkey. Justin has said Canada. The headline that we were looking for is. Charleston, uh, Charleston, apolo official apologizes for Mark about people from Providence. People Rhode from Island. Providence. You were closer. Oh, shit. That's going to be a Canada point. That's yeah. Justin. Hell yeah. yeah. Providence, America's Canada. <laughs> hey, hey, Providence, America's Canada. They love a hockey. <laughs> Providence, America's Canada, but with the mafia. Providence. <laughs> America's Canada. Canada doesn't have a mafia. <laughs> they don't have a mafia? I'm sure. Who was do. driving all Who them knows? trucks? Who fucking knows up there? You know anything thing. goes. As long as it's on a hockey rink, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like international they waters? Don't yeah. care if it's on the hockey rink. Fucking Trudeau. You could do it right in front of Trudeau. A whole brick of blow if it's on a hockey <laughs> rink. He's like, I ain't got no qualms. If it's on the rink, it don't stink. Am I right? <laughs> Come on, boys. Hey. Get all the truckers on here. We don't give a fuck. Can I join you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Round three. Brett, uh, I've bolded it here for you. Round three. We all need right. sexy Palpatine Photoshop by the end of this episode. <laughs> I they're, swear they're, to God. They're twins and they're out for girls Palpatine. night. So yeah. think double mint twins, but they're Palpatines. <laughs> yes. Talking each other and into they're being in ever a girl more naughty. Gone wild scenario. Yeah. All right, Brian, this is going to you first. <laughs> the chat very loudly says, do we, though? Yes. <laughs> do we? The answer is yes, Curtis. The answer is yes. All right. Uh, uh, Brian, this one's for you. All right. Brett, take it away. Doctor apologizes for ranting about blank blank from operating room. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Doctor apologizes for ranting about blank blank from operating room. 
Uh, oh, there's so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like Chris Rock with a fresh handprint on his cheek. I could. Oh, I could. <laughs> it's probably not Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> Doctor Jameson. <laughs> um, blank, blank. Uh, yeah. probably not ranting blank. about doing the blank, blank. <laughs> I think he's ranting about the Bart man. The what? The Bart man? Yes. <laughs> he hates that little rascal. He's ranting what about that the sound? Bart man. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> or so. Hey. Uh, you've seen everyone's doing this this fucking Boop. dance. The the Bart man. Boop. Yep. I, I mean, like they started doing it in the early eighties and and now they're still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I mean, I, I can't. It's just, this show hasn't been funny in years. They're still doing the fucking part, man. Ah! You know, scalpel. <laughs> um, uh, he, he was, uh, was he fired or sanctioned or what? Uh, he apologized. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, to, to conscious patient he was ranting about the conscious patient while he was working on the like this motherfucker he probably does the bart man and he was awake i i think you just accidentally wrote and i think you should leave sketch because <laughs> 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 it's a very funny idea to see, tim robinson, to see tim robinson like like huh huh <laughs> Yep, that's my conscious right. patient. Conscious patient Justin and Doctor apologizes for ranting about blank blank from operating room. Oh, for ranting about uh 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 religious <laughs> phobia. <laughs> He's scared of religion. Oh man, I, I, I yeah. He's like, uh, I don't understand why you can't be a doctor and also believe in a being in the higher order i mean whether you call him an alien or you think everything is a simulation i mean clearly you know what you think we just uh, one day came out of nothing it's fucking bullshit and people who can't handle that should give me my license back Boop. yep Boop. uh dr jordan peterson you're <laughs> wanted in the psych wing <laughs> all right so justin you said uh, religious phobia is that correct yep and brian has said conscious patient all right this is from our friends over at uh, vice Doctor apologizes for ranting about console wars from the operating room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, <laughs> like so, so the actual wars or or what of the book or documentary called console wars? Hey, I believe he's talking about the video game. Uh, yes, people are uh, review bombing a hospital in India with one star reviews after a doctor <laughs> tweeted a video of himself during a procedure with an unconscious patient. Um. So he was he was doing a he was just mad for social media and he's like I'm not gonna do the voice uh, 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 <laughs> here 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 here, here, here. Yeah, social media? media like yeah. this yeah uh, he's like like all you have to do all right here we go here we go I'll do I'll do the voice <laughs> okay I'm on the lighting side over here all right I'm, what happened to Sega Saturn? I love that fucking controller, man. What the fuck? Uh, 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 Dr. Shrivera posted a video to Twitter, Twitter writing, Here I am after inducing anesthesia, intubating, and putting a patient on controlled mechanical ventilation for, lap, for laparoscopic cholecystomy. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it mostly. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Here's a war. Uh, uh, a a sesame case in the OR slandering my identity, comma, profession, because you X bots can't argue facts. He added, saving lives, my job, console wars, my hobby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so who is so he closer? Was just, he was just <laughs> into a fucking shit post uh, 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 roller derby while and... doing surgery. But also, yeah, he's also a surgeon. But you wouldn't be upset if he was a mechanic. It. What? Oh, if he was like fixing Working cars. on a car, yeah. yeah. But what's the difference? He was just wrenching. Straight <laughs> wrenching. All wrenching. Straight wrenching. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nobody would give a fuck. Turns out it's probably because the car's not alive. Ah, that does make sense. <laughs> yeah. Differentiated. Uh, because, uh, because it was specifically an unconscious patient, Brian does not get the point. Ah, shit. So Justin's gonna get the point for religious. religious actually, it is kind of a religious phobia. Was it religious like, like, phobia? like, uh, you know, I was like, yo, man, you, you, uh, you ain't ever been PS curious? 
Oh yeah, because yeah, he was Sony, uh, right? He was Sony. I guess through, yeah, through. yeah. If he said Xbox, yeah, Xbox, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. All right, after three rounds, Brett, what is uh, what is our score? Uh, we've got Justin with four points. What? Mm -hmm. We've got Brian with no points. Oh. Wow! It's the first time somebody's accused me of having no points. I don't think so. Is that a dick thing? <laughs> no, like uh, like I'm pointless. Yes. Oh. Sorry. Uh, 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 wow, next question, real. please. I thought, it was, I thought it was. I thought it was a dick thing. Like you call your dick your point. Uh, I do. But then Actually. he's without one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, that's a little game we play where I'm like, no, but I do have a dick, and she's like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and you squint really hard, and you go, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Do we have another question? That's just actually, yeah, that's kind of erotic. <laughs> Is Bonnie still around? I hope she's not here. No, on this. she's not here. All right, she's she might be hearing it. Yeah. Uh, she's round, preparing. Round four, Justin. This will be to you. Here you go, Brett. Yep. Mm. Pabs Blue Ribbon apologizes for inappropriate blank blank tweets. Yar apologizes for inappropriate blank blank tweets. Justin, we're starting with you. Oh, Black History. <sighs> Like black history tweets. All right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I would imagine Pep's Blue Ribbon is maybe aware of their loose affiliation with hipster douchebags. And so they're probably calling that out. Wait, they, so they're apologizing for they're calling like, their own people who buy. Hey, if their you're beer. a shithead in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. <laughs> yep. Fuck right off. And yeah, then, we don't want and, your money. And then all of a sudden the guy who tweets that like, bah, 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 like <laughs> yeah. two seconds later. Jeremy, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, like, let me this apologize you? Is this you? for this. Yeah. You need to apologize right now. That's 38% of our sales year on year. JK, $10 for a PBR sounds legit to me. So Close. <laughs> laptop. <laughs> Fly away. Dance party. That's how we do it here at Pab's Blue Ribbon. <laughs> One tweet. That's all we need. <laughs> One tweet and now we skate. Let's go. Jacking, 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 no. jacking. Year on year. <laughs> The height of comedy. It squirt, squirt. You... Direct to your phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, what uh, was apologizes answer? for inappropriate blank blank tweets. What, were, what was your answer, Brian? Mine was hipster douchebag. Yeah. Hipster douchebag. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry. There was a lot of work. There was a lot of improv afterward. <laughs> I, I just like to computer. point out that this was the moment where we lost my in-laws from watching this show. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, the God, your in-laws were watching. This was the moment. I'm uh, sorry. Did they text? No. Oh. <laughs> if you're still watching... Please text Brett. Please text yeah. If you're still watching, please text Brett and say, we're still watching, and we found it very funny. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Mostly the one with gray hair. <laughs> All right. This is from our friends over at Forbes. Paps Blues Ribbon apologizes for inappropriate... Dry January tweet. Hey! Oh, oh damn. I'm fucking rolling right now. Of Wait course, a minute. Dry uh, which do you think is... Uh... Dry January closer to Black History Month, maybe by timeline. Or <laughs> hipster douchebag. Uh, yeah, the the one where it, it's, where it's within uh, a a second of each other yeah, on the not, calendar. It's not up to you and me. It's up to science. It is. I'm gonna have to put this in the machine here because uh, this is very close. This is a very close one here. I'm gonna have to go. Jazz. Jazz we, we need to get him a bunch of levers and shit and a steam whistle. <laughs> All right, there you go, everybody. Ah, oh, Brian gets the point. Hey, right. What? What? Hey. That's, uh, That's bullshit. I That's, deny science now. Mr. <laughs> douchebags is exactly. We it. need to run it through both science and religion. <laughs> <laughs> teach the controversy, we need man. To teach the controversy. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Bryce, get a religion machine for next week. 
No. Okay. Uh, two more here. Two more. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brett, if you can take uh, this topic for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. By the way, I see Corey laughing, which means I'm pretty sure a t-shirt's going to show up. <laughs> also, <laughs> can somebody turn a camera on fucking Corey? <laughs> Corey's look right now is awesome. Uh, 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 Chuck Lamontagne, <laughs> yeah. but like with a red solo cup, like <laughs> he looks like he either is a musician or will sell you weed. Either way, like, he's definitely <laughs> participated in Dry January. What was I, the question? No, I have an alt. He's Chuck Mangione right now. That, oh my that's God. Who I was Chuck fucking, Mangione right now. Now that Chuck feels Man, so good. I, I fucked up that name. Yep, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, U.S. <laughs> House <laughs> candidate apologizes for behavior at blank. Um, no. Okay. Here are a lot of politics related questions, not a lot of magic related ones. That's fine. <laughs> Fine. Listen, the chat sent these in. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps, or no, sorry. Uh, which one is this? U.S. House candidate apologizes for behavior at blank. Uh, to me? Yeah, uh, yes. At party. <laughs> at what? Party. At a party. party. Yeah. It was dry January. Everybody was doing blow. They all didn't want to do alcohol. <laughs> they didn't want to do alcohol, so they did yeah. cocaine. Yo, man, you want to do some champagne? <laughs> no, man. Dry no, January. Dry January. <laughs> Hey, you gotta try this shit. Dude, hey, you gotta try this shit, though. <laughs> Just... Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, party or mix. Yeah, yeah. All right, Brian says party. They were, they were party or fundraiser. They were, they were smelling keys. <laughs> yeah, you can't pick two. Pick one. <laughs> Making sure of this. I don't know. This key smells suspicious. Or camp out. I need to go to the bathroom and <laughs> investigate. Or watching Transformers. <laughs> Uh, you know, it? you have to pick one. You can't keep naming different <laughs> I am not. I'm pretty sure it's a party, though. It might be one or the other one. Uh, one, one word. Convention. One word. U.S. House Could candidate apologizes for behavior at blank. Bar mitzvah. Or fundraiser. Wait. Pretty sure it's party. Bot though. mitzvah. Uh, okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Brian has said party. Justin has said bot mitzvah. I didn't mean to put in weird glasses <laughs> on that. Did you just say party in a different language? That was a really hard it's a specific right party. Okay. I can go with Bat quinceanera. So in other words, I, I said party, and you're like, let me get some real estate inside, inside of that. Inside of that. Diagram. I think you got it. Okay, all right. I all just right. Want, I want, I want to make sure I stake my claim. Okay, all right. Okay, there we go. This is from my friends at the New York Times. A uh, U.S. House candidate apologizes for behavior at... Oh. <laughs> slide whistle Sorry. convention. I knew I should have gone with it convention. I tried to do it blind. <laughs> Bryce, <laughs> is your shit haunted today? <laughs> what the say, fuck is he going on? He goes to sleep. He's like, oh, y'all with your sliding whistles. Boo. Y'all sound like dicks going down. No, it's a... I'm sorry. I, I apologize what for that. I'm going to go back to Congress. Me? <laughs> No, Brian's doing his one-man show yeah, about no. this thing. I'm imagining He's him going all characters yeah. in this one-man show. And scene. All right, U.S. House candidate apologizes for behavior at... Thank you. Sleepover! Ooh. Parents of Abby Broyles of Oklahoma drank and swore at, a ch at children at a friend's home. She said <laughs> she had mixed wine with medication and has no memory of the night. Oh. Uh, I think... What do you think were phrases she said? Also, because I, I would put a hundred dollars on you little bitches. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let me see if, if the New York Times has any information about that. Because well, who do you think you are? I would put money on that too. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Who do you think you are? You just to me so rude. <laughs> just being so rude right now. They you don't, know, I'm right you're out, you know you're being you're being little bitches. <laughs> Remember, she's from Oklahoma. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all, y'all be a <laughs> All right. bitch. All right. <laughs> y'all be the, bitches. The New York Times found none of none of what, what she said worthy enough to print. So oh, <laughs> wow. Also, Thanks, bum bullshit sleepover that there were no TikToks of this. Like, come on. What the I guess fuck? it was the, I mean, there had it was the some parents, kind of evidence, right? Otherwise, oh, oh, she'd oh, say, oh, the parents were wait, was it really a sleepover? The the parent a, a parent who was there at the children's sleepover was doing this. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't yell at the kids. Uh, oh boy, howdy. I wish Whatever. Who I recommend you go to the Moving gray lady on. on seeing about what, what that was. All right. Uh, before we go to our final rant. Oh, and that's, 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 wait, bot that was a Brian. Which one is it? That's a Brian poll. Hey! hey! Yes, 
Okay, it's a direct I, quote for the party. I just saw there was a green button. All right, before we go to our final round, Brett, what is our score? Justin has a great big freaking... Also, he has four points. And <laughs> Brian has a measly two. Uh, they call me the deuce. It's but but a, the very, a very respectable point. Yes. I do. Two points. Two of them. That's right. Wait, two? Yeah. He's got a deuce. Jesus. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can do a popular Reddit AMA. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the same thing. Okay. All right. We're going to get to our final round. This is, of course, going to be worth five points. Five points. Five points. So, everybody, tune in for that. <laughs> <laughs> what did I go just back? See? Go back. <laughs> I see you put together a gift of uh, an anesthetic <laughs> patient. <laughs> <laughs> It's everything. <laughs> I see you. There we go. Let's uh, put that. Let's put that on 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 the on, on the Twitter ASAP. Yep. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, for five points, we are going to start with Brian because he's uh, behind. Uh, Brett, please, uh, if you can take it away. High school principal apologizes for lack of sportsmanship after football team won game blank blank blank. <sighs> Lack of sportsmanship after football team won game blank blank blank. Uh, is is when it says uh, uh, after one game is there a comma and no. then it's blank blank blank? No, there's no comma. No, no they they won W O N game. Yeah, blank blank blank. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I'm trying to figure out like if I would say he threw. Uh, there's there's no comma. There's not, yeah, yeah. It is part uh, of the same. <clears throat> yeah. Fragment. Um. Uh. uh um. Calm down, grammarians. Uh, settling the wait, score. Wait, one, one more time. Apologizes the land. for Brett. high school principal apologizes for lack of sportsmanship after football team won game blank <laughs> blank blank. Uh, uh, citing Jordan Peterson. <laughs> so that was it. They, they just did like 10 rules to live by and the <laughs> well, other team but, fell down by lack of logic. Well, I, I, I mean, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of, we do like to bother kids <clears throat> skateboarding. Ah! <laughs> no, uh, 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 like I'm, it, it feels to me like the three words are not the actions that he did to apologize for, although that is the game and has always been the way that we play the game. And now I regret thinking that, <laughs> but I was thinking instead like the defense he was using, um, Mm. Uh, 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 like, 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 you know, claiming temporary insanity. That, like, gotcha. that, that kind of, yeah, thing, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, because otherwise, uh, 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 throwing Gatorade <laughs> poorly <laughs> or uh, uh, offensively. Okay. Throwing that's Gatorade they offensively. Won the game. They that's, won the game. No, throwing that's the thing Gatorade. he's apologizing for. Sure. After that, team one yeah. game throwing Gatorade. Oh, <laughs> wait, no. It's yeah, that's team one. Okay, yeah, so it's how they get it. Yeah. Okay, now, now I understand the, the grammar. Are you yeah, locking yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you. Okay, no, I got it. Lack of sportsmanship there. after uh, football team one game, blank, blank, blank. Uh, using mm -hmm. underinflated football. Okay, using underinflated. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This I, man has. Seen a sports talk I'm show. liking this era of Brian who has Within watched Sports decade. Center last week. That's Got it. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. He said, uh, using underinflated football. Yes. football. After high school team won game after Kobe retired. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just in high school principal apologize for lack of sportsmanship after football team won game blank, blank, blank. 2000. 769 to four. Oh, it's score. That does make sense grammatically. 2,000, 2,769 to four. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying it was a shutout. And he was like, in your face. Other well, no, team he scored four. But the other team scored 2,660. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. So they got two safeties. That's, that's, that's true. right. I was going to say, true. how did they get two four safeties. points? Yeah. But it was only because the uh, 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 the winning quarterback, <laughs> Yep. Uh, once they hit 2,000, yep. at one point he just moonwalked into the <laughs> zone, end zone, <laughs> took a shit, and <laughs> fell down <laughs> twice. And that scored them four points. And that scored the other team four safeties. points. Because the famous sport that we're talking about is football. 
<laughs> where there's a right. Okay. Yeah, safety. Is it safety? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Safety. Yeah. Two, two safety. I mean, that's okay. a serious bowel control. Yeah. How did they get the they first shit twice? Oh, yeah. He shit twice. Yeah. And they were the same length. Wow. <laughs> they were measured. Okay. All right. And Price. photographed for the yearbook. <laughs> Rocking that brown snake. But it was too fucked up, <laughs> and they and they had to apologize, mostly for the shit. <laughs> right the 2000 and some odd points ah, boys will be boys why not all right this is from our friends at KNBC news nine high school principal apologizes for lack of sportsmanship after football team one game <laughs> 106 to zero yeah. and with oh. a score of nine right. points your winner is justin robert yeah. 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 Uh, I do like a uh, mega dot prime. <laughs> Justin guessed the showcase showdown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is a lie? <laughs> uh, thank you to everybody in the chat realm who sent in news stories uh, that helped me out a great deal today. Uh, uh, if you would like to send in an idea for a game or a game you've written, uh, you can email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check us out in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Uh, I threw up a thread in there earlier today and asked people to send stuff in, so uh, that's where a lot of the last-minute stuff pops up, so check us out there. Thank you. Uh, yo, man, we got that Founders Day picnic coming up! Yeah. It was Founders Day! So, Founders Day... I mean, Founders Day week begins... In like you know a few twenty days, minutes, basically, yeah. uh, we have a bunch of people coming in uh, uh, to town for you know the the the, the days leading up to it. Uh, an, an amazing lineup for guests. Uh, uh, Annalisa was showing me the draft schedule that that is there, but uh, performances by uh, Matt Mattingly with the Bucket Show, uh, Ice Cream Social, Ali Spagnolo, uh, Spagnola, uh, the Possum Posse, like Mike TV, Mike TV. Uh, uh, some magic? Uh, hopefully, man. It's getting real crowded up in that schedule. Uh, but one of the things that we're doing is we, we've got, you know, of course, the, 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 the daytime part where we'll be eating and hanging out. We've got a bunch of different yep. areas to, to, to do activities. Uh, but we were wondering, a little bit of a writer's room. There's no wrong answers. Well, hold up. Before we get into this. Yeah? Tickets still available? Uh, no. No. Maybe. Uh, I think maybe there's 10. Maybe. Scamstuff.com. Search for Who knows? Founders Day. Oh, okay. <laughs> somebody try to buy one right now and tell us in the chat whether, whether or not, not you could. could. Yep. Uh, but uh, but during it, uh, it, it occurs to me this is the first time you know we tried to do it uh, two years ago and it caused uh, an oh, apocalypse. It, yeah. Yep. Uh, but this time, somebody, uh, there was somebody in the Wuhan lab <laughs> going saying like, like, like yeah, it we need to be. stop him. It from. cannot be. <laughs> da da. <laughs> it, there's a lore expansion. Uh, 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 yes, uh, I'll yes, be back. I'm going must... to suck some blood. <laughs> Parody Dracula. <laughs> yes. Oh, I believe this is infected blood. I got it from a bat when I was in bat form. Uh, <laughs> we cannot let Founders Day go on, Parody Dracula. How will we stop it? <laughs> we can only stop it at best for two years. But then they will probably have it. And then it will be the first one. Wait a minute. Are you Parody Dracula or real Dracula that actually caused COVID? Uh, no, also it's a costume party, I swear. <laughs> Dr. Wong! <laughs> Smash cut two years later. <laughs> uh, but the point is, is, since we're actually doing it, uh, <laughs> there, there's like, uh, I want uh, uh, chat room right now, no wrong answers. Just Blitzkrieg, we're going to brainstorm. We're going to try to come up with some rituals. Like, what are some things that we're going to start doing this year? We're going to do every year well, afterwards. This, this, is, this is the thing, is that we've, we've often been at conventions, either for other uh, stuff, like we will be at Scoop Fest. We've been at massive conventions like Dragon Con, where a bunch of people have a bunch of other inside jokes that they all bring. This is the first time where Diamond Club will be its own <laughs> overrepresented super uh, uh, minority amongst the modern rogue people right. and, and and everybody else that's showing up here. So what we're looking for is just a thing. Uh, yeah, simple uh, thing. They're already giving it to us. Yeah. Uh, deep tongue kissing. Give me a pitch. What do you got? <laughs> Hello, fat friend. Yeah. Uh, COVID's over. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to? Uh, 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 
Well, no, wait, hold on. No, because it's got to be thing you do immediately. Yeah. So, so a, a Diamond yeah. Club person could walk up to a modern rogue person, attempt to deep tongue kiss them. And you'll know. And, and if they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Then you're like, oh, you're not a Diamond Club uh, person. I don't like breaking everyone into specific tribes. That seems, uh, what's the word? It starts with an R. Rude. Um, the, the, uh, well, no, I'm saying, but this is this is the thing. This yeah, is yeah, what yeah. we're doing. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so uh, it's it's kind of like the the the, the French thing of, of kissing on both cheeks. Only it's deep tongue kissing deep to in celebrate the, in the, the mouth, fact. In yeah, the mouth. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 cooking cooking their food, cooking other people's food. Is that so? Yeah, you would. Uh, what would that uh, look like? Well, mostly you would gather a few woods. <laughs> uh, uh, and then you would set it down, and and uh, I think it's flint in Zelda that you would light it, and then you would throw your 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 fruit and meat. What about uh, uh, body shots, but only if you have a z vaccine card? That like, just sounds like I mean, like yeah, that just sounds like doing this is body the health shot. screening. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, uh, look, uh, okay. Um, remember what I said? There's no wrong answers, and we're gonna steal man all of <laughs> yeah. the suggestions. Well, yeah, and mean, then you just start just doing the exact opposite no, of well, this. I mean, I yeah, yes, okay, uh, all right, hey, all right. yeah, uh, uh, baby. flaming so shots. Uh, yes, I think we should do flaming <laughs> shots. I'm very excited about flaming shots. What we're gonna do is everybody bring your own lighter, and they need to be turned up very high. Uh, a crack style, as they say on the streets. And you're going to light your flaming shots, and you're going to not even take them. You're going to throw them on <laughs> random people. Okay. I think this would be very good. <laughs> no. Ding, ding, ding. Good Steel thing. man. Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Uh, 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 what else? Uh, uh, um, uh, Wait, I, so I, I'm not literally the whole anything. bit is I'm we read just, stuff from the I chat. You were feeding things to me. Okay. I have one. I have Go one ahead. that uh, everyone who comes that's a Diamond Club member greets Brian with "Hello, Mister 911." Oh, no, oh no, I don't no, like this. No, no, I no, mean, no, that no. would be great. So much fun. <laughs> Maybe you could also rub other foibles in my face. <laughs> <laughs> like you look a little pink today. Did you put on some weight? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. I love it. Uh, approved. <laughs> Just, I'd like everyone not to take so, in not so the improv easy, is it? that's happening on stage. <laughs> not <now>. so easy, <laughs> is it? Uh, uh, you can't right, take away my you golden can't take arm. Away. All right, so so let's 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 dial in on the idea of a of a secret phrase. Okay. Uh, uh, and you have to work it into a conversation. If you, yeah, if, if in your uh, uh, initial like greeting, oh, for this strangers, is good. You say like. Uh, um, Something, something, golden arm, or uh, maybe, 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 uh, like you win by waiting the longest to work it in casually to the conversation. Like if you just immediately go up and say golden arm, then it's just like, okay, well, I saw that episode too. But if you're able to start telling a story, and the longer you lead <laughs> them down a minute, path, how many people will say that phrase? Well, I don't know. I saw that episode too on the platform that died five <laughs> minutes after it started. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, wait, uh, you're talking about the, no, I'm talking about this episode. The, the one we're doing right now where we're talking well, yes, about the Golden no, Arm. But of course, but I mean, that's, that's who we're trying to unite. Yes. They're excited about that. Yeah. That would be a success. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure where we disagree, but, but, but my point is uh, the, the idea of a secret code phrase and the yeah. longer you talk and then, and then, and then you, you win the game if you, if, 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 if uh, uh, Penatello used to have this game where you, you go to Denny's and the, you won the game by sneaking parsley onto someone's plate when they weren't looking. And uh, they, they eventually became so fixated that nobody would look away from their plates because the moment there would be a distraction, all of a sudden you got parsley on your plate. Like that, but with conversations, with getting to uh, a phrase that may, uh, the pitch that I saw was golden R. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's great. That would be a good thing. That would be great. Okay. Great idea. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Okay, cool. Super majority in Congress. Sign the next day. Uh, right on. What else we got? <laughs> uh, 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 this sounds like Diamond Club dick waving. I mean, we could do dick waving. If you don't have a dick, bring a dick. Yeah. Maybe we could lend dicks <laughs> for a very modest price. Uh, okay. It would be like bowling shoes. So you would have to give us your shoes. 
And then we would lend you a rubber dick. No, but if you have a dick, you have to if you give have a your dick, dick. If you have your dick, you can bring your dick. That's fine. Got it. But if but you see somebody without shoes on, <laughs> you know they probably got a rubber dick in their pocket. I'm sorry, okay. What bowling alley are you going to where you have to con they, they confiscate your, your shoes. regular shoes? Don't you? Did, that didn't happen. Oh, no, you just. Oh, the they person just who's give from my shoes. hometown is also shaking your head. So maybe I. <laughs> You just got robbed at the bowling alley, no, my man. No, you know what it told it took him permanently. It was like a trade thing because you didn't need to carry your shoes around. You don't take them at all. It was actually like a gift. It was like a like a, like a service. <laughs> they were they were temporarily for the home. Okay, yeah, no. So Annalise Wait. is saying that, the sh that, that they took one shoe. Is it? Is okay, this? So thing? we will take one shoe. We will take one shoe, <laughs> and you get a rubber dick. Also, also, <laughs> also, I just asked Annalisa if this was a real thing, and she goes, "No, it's not." <laughs> <laughs> he said not everywhere. Uh okay, people are people are people are saying it's a real thing. Yeah. All okay. right. Cool. All right. So okay. so dick, dicks is shoes, shoe dicks. Dicks for shoes. Yep. Okay. If you don't have a dick. We want everybody cuz uh, you're going to wave it eventually. Most people who come will have a dick, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we Just know our demo. demographically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh Oh yeah. yeah, actually now that I'm thinking about it, high schoolers uh were would be very prone like th there was always some kid in high school who would be rocking like your dick. stolen shoes from the bowling alley. Oh. Cuz they were like uh, maybe they got cheap shoes and they traded them out. Uh or well, but in my bowling alley they never they did they didn't do the confiscation La thing. La dee da. Oh. Look Japan, at Richie dude. Rich going to the cool kids bowling alley with the rest of the sheiks. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is coming. <laughs> really lost the thread here. I'm They're trying. Rich. Yeah, really rich. Yeah. Sorry, I was just starting to think of a funny name for rich people. <laughs> yeah. Cheeks. I think I failed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Cheeks are rich. Oh, he didn't laugh. Yeah. Father. Uh, uh, I, I swear, someone can write a book about the past five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you could write a whole improv book. <laughs> This is good. Uh, 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 all right. Caitlin how, says, why don't we take our dicks out for Harambe? I think, can we get away from dick-centric suggestions? Yeah, but, but it, does, it does bring back. Remember, we had a good game with the, the Flashing picture. Flashing the Harambe. Yeah, that's the right. Picture of the, the picture of the Cincinnati Zoo, Zoo doesn't, doesn't want you to show. see. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that could be a thing where it's like, uh, uh, hey, I wanted to show you, you, you something you, on my you, phone. Do you want to bring that back, that game? Or is that too dated? Do we need a new Harambe? Like a no, like I a, I think that a plastic, Robo Harambe. Never die. Okay. All right. So 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 well, Harambe like, back it, on the it, table. It might be well also Harambe just had a thing because the Cincinnati Bengals were gonna win the Super Bowl, then they didn't. But like one of the players was like, We're doing it for Harambe. So like I kind of feel like Harambe still like like it's aged very well for an internet bit. Right. Like, cause it actually like got popular like months and months after it happened which meant it was really just an internet joke not a reaction to that thing that happened right but so uh, specifically of, of, of among the folks who will be there uh you want to stick to the classic image you, you don't want to come up with a new thing to sneak in front of somebody we we we, we, we can try and, and see if we can come up with something better uh what do you think of a uh, 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 kazoo from the flintstones uh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> no bad uh, ideas in a brainstorm, as they that, say. Uh, that's true. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that 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 we all have a deep connection to Roddy McDowell's work, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's what it looks like, guys. Uh, uh, kazoo from the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, dum that, dum, hey, Dick, put exactly your dicks out. That picture of Kazoo from the Flintstones. But a little that wasn't penis. Harvey Corman? But a little penis. Oh, I thought I thought it was Roddy McDowell. Maybe it was both. He 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 just has a very small point. Uh Harvey Corman, Seth Green, Eric Bowser, Flula Austin. Borg, Frank. Yeah, Martin. you're right. I got Maurice it. LaMarche. Yeah. yeah. Of course. See, now you're thrown off because you didn't have the right voice actor for Kazoo. Uh oh, I'm 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 still in it. Uh the uh <laughs> Uh, but uh, but but uh, so so we got one vote for uh, classic Harambe, oh, no, 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 a pitch for for yeah, the great pitching, kazoo. Be, what, what do you think? Uh, uh, oh, man, um, I'm trying to think of what 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 do you think is the most iconic thing that's happened on Great Night since we relaunched the show, like uh, image wise. Probably the beautiful boys dance. Yeah, 
That, that, that's what I've seen yeah. the most. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that the... wasn't from something else? I always no, assumed that's... that was just a reference to something else. Uh, no, that, that was how no, we opened on, the show on one the time. Set, yeah. Right? Yeah. No, there, there, there's a gif of us doing the, 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 the beautiful boys yeah. dance. Oh. Uh, 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 hopefully somebody will be able to post it there in, in, in the chat or else it's not as ubiquitous as I thought. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I, I guess. would like to say also, I'd just like to throw it because I'm particularly proud of that is Brett, you seem so intimidating. Am I? <laughs> uh, 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 so, uh, so maybe everybody should cower in front of Brett's <laughs> bald head. Actually, I'm down with this bit. <laughs> <laughs> People find start, you, say, start, are start you knees Brett? knocking and whenever Brett comes around? I'll take off the glasses and say, yes, what of it? Uh, Oh man, what about a costume contest? People could come dressed as as Bryce three PO or uh, uh, or Austin three sixty. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean we we could always just have a very simple uh, uh, theme of clothing, like a color or something like that, where where everybody comes wearing blank white robes oh god <laughs> <laughs> gold wreaths around our heads prepare for the baby and wrestling sandals, uh and a respectful <laughs> cadence <laughs> and 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 walk with your head bowed down at all times yep and you say uh hail the diamond <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going with like a Roman Senate thing. Oh no, I was going I was going for like a straight up cult thing. But oh, but, okay. but but Roman Senate is also good. Roman Senate. You're like Or like, as they were called historically, worm encrusted people. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody somebody goes like I'm here for the costume contest and they've just glued worms all over their bodies. <laughs> Audible groans for gluing worm on. Those were those were audible <laughs> shudders and gas <laughs> from the worm encrusted people. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. All right, wait, 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 wait. What's our wait, wait, what's the leader in the clubhouse so far? Uh, I, I, I feel, like I the feel idea. like showing a picture of the. Great kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either that or classic Harambe. I'm gonna say either one is is a win. Oh, so now we're going back. So yeah, we we pitched. Yeah, we yeah nothing else I mean, came so, out on top. So so nothing far, that, those are my favorite. That that yeah. was a, that was a game that uh, uh, that uh, had legs for a really long time. All right, so the game as as we played it, yeah, uh, was that you just would have to randomly say like to somebody in a very serious tone, like, "Oh my god, did you guys fucking see this?" And you're showing them a thing that and they think, oh my, is, is it a weather thing? Is there a terrorist attack? No, it's this picture of right. the photo the Cincinnati Zoo doesn't want you to see. Right. Bryce, if you can find that so we can show everybody what to what to uh, 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 carry with them at all times. <laughs> well, uh, 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 some of the best examples were like uh, we had birthday cakes that uh, that were made with, uh, with it and... Uh, uh, the the more creative people got, like a you know bathroom doors. You go to the bathroom, you close the door, and suddenly you're looking at it. It, it. it was the creativity that that seemed to be the real star of the show. It was, it was. Uh, there we go, there we go. I think we have it here now. If we can bring it up, that's the photo. This is the photo of Harambe that the Cincinnati Zoo doesn't want you to see. Uh, and it's it's uh, uh, Harambe going full vertical while. Uh, Bathing suit clad teens are in the background playing a radical fucking act. Flying V, a flying a flying v. v. Uh, so all right, so that's that's our secret code. If we are amongst, amongst uh, yeah, if, if we're if we're gonna pick a ritual, I would say uh, revive a classic because I think that that was ten, what ten years ago that, that we started playing that game. That we were doing it, yeah. That it was that it was at its height. Yeah. Now that we're all gonna be back, let's bring it back too. Heck huh? yeah, dude. Hey, Brett, what did we learn today? Brian, I've learned that Justin, uh, when he does uh, his voices, his Chinese character is one of my favorite voices. Thank you. I've learned that Brian is just okay with Nazis. <laughs> uh, just okay, though. Just, just okay. okay. Just okay. Corey is secretly Chuck Mangion, and it makes me feel so good. And we have... The best worm encrusted audience <laughs> ever. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! A worm encrusted round of applause. Shine on you, crazy diamonds. We'll see you at Founders Day. It's been a great night. 
Noi. Noi. Just to my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. Ow. Gray night. You keep me alive. You hurt. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>